Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Tutorial Grid. And on this episode, we are going to be focusing on how to make your audio pop in your videos. So, uh, but before we get started, why don't you go ahead and uh, head on over to Facebook at facebook.com slash avidproductions479. Give us a like there. Also, you can check me out on Instagram at instagram.com slash Cherokee underscore Turner. Go ahead and give us a subscribe and subscribe to all the awesome YouTube-ness that we have. We've got After Effects tutorials, Premiere tutorials, 3DS Max tutorials, all that fun stuff. As well as you can check out my new YouTube, which is all about me <laughs> and what I do for a living and uh, music videos and all this stuff and I have a cool vlog so you can kind of see my journey in filmmaking. So, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the video. So this video is about making your audio pop. Basically, um, this should be a pretty short tutorial. Um, what we're going to do is make our audio sound like this. Uh, it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. So that audio was taken from an Audix uh, SXCH1, uh, which is a really good microphone. It's an over-the-head microphone. I don't really believe in lavs. Uh, I, I don't like them. I've had terrible trouble with them. Um, but what we're going to be focusing on uh, is just making that audio kind of come out a little bit. So that was with all of the uh, different things we added to it. This is what it sounds like without all the fun added stuff. It popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. Yeah, so you can kind of hear a, a big difference. It, it There's just overall clarity that's involved. Uh, it, it just kind of pops out a little bit more uh, than the uh, raw file does. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on into this. This shouldn't take too long. So there is a new, somewhat new uh, feature in Premiere CC, and that is uh, called the Audio Essentials Panel. And it's, it's or the Essential Sound Panel, and it's absolutely amazing. And it's this little thing that's right over here. So right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that your your audio file is selected that you want to go ahead and put all these things under and you're going to want to select essentials sound. So if you don't have this panel right here, the way you get that is you go to window and you just scroll down to where you see essential sound. Okay. And you'll click that and it'll bring on a little panel. It'll come up with a box, drag that over to where it's most comfortable for you. Mine is always on the right side, uh, right next to my Lumetri panel. So, what we're going to do is uh, listen to this file. Let's see what we've got here. So it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo. All right. So I hear some background noise. There were right there. There were. So I got a little bit of background noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click reduce noise. Now, usually these sliders are in the center. I've got mine down fairly low. So let's just go ahead and just put that in the center. Let's let's hear what that does. There were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. Now that does a really good job, but I mean, it does a fantastic job, but it kind of sounds a little bit, I mean, it's it's got that weird little spectral delay. Uh, so I'm going to just bring that down by about half. Let's see what this does. At there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal. Yeah, I still hear it just a little bit, so we'll just bring this down a touch. That there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out. That sounds pretty good right there. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, there's also a couple of things that you can uh, look at, like if say if you have like a like a computer in the background or an air conditioner or something like that, you can try messing around with these reduced rumbles and reduce hums. Now, I know an air conditioner is usually on the 60 kilohertz realm, and that's just going to take out those really high tones. Uh, and it's, it's just going to really make that sound a lot better. Right now, we don't have any of that, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. So the next thing that we're going to have is this clarity um, panel, which is going to set our, uh, we can check out our dynamics. So let's go ahead and check that. Move it back and let's it take a listen. That 
there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die, <laughs> and there were just a ton of problems. So whenever I looked back and I looked at my, my order, pretty my, good right there. Should I really do this? Okay, we're about right there. Sounds pretty good. So let's listen. And there were just a ton of problems. So whenever I looked back and, without. and looked at my, my order, I'm like, should I really do this? So instead of going with... Yeah, definitely with the, uh, with the uh, I decided to the clarity on there. It sounds a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start with our next position here. Uh, we're going to start with our next thing here. So that's pretty much it uh, for this uh, this part that we're going to be using right here. Um, just to kind of show you what some of the stuff it's got. So it's got some enhanced speech. It's got um, some presets for uh, making the sound sound like di different kind of things. It also has an equalizer preset. You can click that and it can kind of take out some of your background noises. It popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal. It's kind of like a DSer. The wireless signal would cut out. But you can mess around. This is basically a parametric EQ, but you can't make any adjustments to it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make my own adjustments with a parametric EQ. Uh, but let's go ahead and listen to what the enhanced speech does. So I'm male. <laughs> let's go ahead and listen to this. Batteries would die. And there Dear were just God. a ton of problems. So whenever I look back and I looked at my, my order, I'm like... Yeah, sometimes these uh, these effects, they may look good, <laughs> but they do not sound good. So sometimes that might work, but in this case, it does not. And you can also add reverb if you wanted to. But for me, that's just not something that I'm going to want to do. Okay, so now that uh, we're done with that, let's go ahead and type in, in our effects and presets. We're going to type in uh, parametric equalizer. So we're going to go ahead and push, pull this down. We're also going to type in EQ, and that's going to bring up uh, our graphic equalizer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a 10 band. I used a 20 band, but just for uh, tutorial purposes, we're going to use a 10 band EQ. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that down. So the first one, we're going to use the EQ, and we're going to put that right above our adaptive noise reduction. And I'm going to go ahead and click the edit on our graphic EQ. And the first thing I'm going to do is pull down our highs and our lows and go ahead and listen back. It popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die, and there were just a ton of problems. So whenever I looked back and I looked at my, my order, I'm like, should I really do this? So instead of going with the X5, I decided. All right, that's going to be a bit it about right there. I might want to bring down my low tones a little bit more because I've got it a deeper up voice. That there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die, and there were just a ton of problems. So whenever right I look there. back. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Uh, so basically what we did is we just kind of took out some of the low tones of my voice and we took down the kind of sound. So that's going to help with our adaptive noise reduction. It's also going to help just with the overall clarity of the voice because I have more of a, a warmer tone voice. So I want to make sure that I have plenty of the high tones to kind of differentiate my voice from anything that I would might want to put onto it. Plus, I just like hearing the, the warm sounds of my voice all the time. So haha. -ha and you're listening to it right now. So, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna give this an overall dynamic pull, which that's what our uh, parametric equalizer is going to do. So go ahead and hit edit right there. I'm gonna pull this up and move this right over here. It popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die, and there were just a ton of problems. So whenever I looked back and I looked at my, my order, I'm like, should I really do this? So instead of going with the X5, I decided to not go the raw route, test it out, it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. So basically what I did there was I just gave it a little bit of a push around the 6-7K range um, to give it that overall kind of clarity. 
and then I brought down my 100s just a tad bit. I like to see this almost virtually flat um, because a lot of the times whenever it's flat, it's going to give you a little bit better of a sound. So I like to kind of round that out a little bit. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, but I mean, if, if you like the way certain things sound, definitely make it to, to your liking. If you don't like the way my, my voice sounds uh, <laughs> right here, well, sorry, I like the way my voice sounds like this. But in your own things, just kind of mess around with those high tones and those low tones. Sometimes you can mess around a little bit with the mid tones, but you're going to get a really roomy kind of voice. And I don't, re I, don't, I don't think that's really good for kind of dialogue. You want it to be pretty, you know, pretty dynamic in the, the way that, uh, that your voice sounds. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the last thing, which is going to do, we're going to type in hard limiter. I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. And basically what a limiter does is it, it's kind of like a compressor. Uh, in the fact that you can pull this up as loud as you want to, and it's just going to compress the crap out of it. So there's not a whole lot of dynamic, I guess what you would say, dynamic range. It's basically going to make it to where one big waveform is going or is going to be a, still a big waveform, but it's going to be more full. Uh, so it's going to bring up kind of the uh, the lower things in the mix of the uh, the audio, and it's going to kind of bring those a little bit more into the forefront. So, but it's also going to help us with our clipping because we can put in a, uh, a max amplitude. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click True Peak, and let's go ahead and listen. Uh, it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo. Okay, so it's still the same. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit our input boost. So as soon as we start pushing this over to the right, it's going to start working immediately. So I'm gonna click this over one notch. So gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die, and there were just a ton of problems. So whenever I looked back and I looked at my, my order, I'm like, should I really do this? So instead of going with the X5, I decided to not go the raw route, test it out. It popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. So right there is about as much as I want to pull it because if I pull it up any more, you're going to start hearing the room that I'm in. And I'm in a pretty reflective room, so we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, but right there, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's how you get your voice to pop. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of a standard uh, mix, and um, that's the effects panel, and we just kind of added some effects to our essential sounds panel to just kind of give that the the voice a little bit more of a dynamic range so that whenever you put this over music or you put this into it it's going to sound a lot more just have a lot more oomph to it uh so let's go ahead and listen back and we'll do it before and after so this is after it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the dji osmo gimbal all right and this is with. Uh, it popped up that there were a lot of problems with the DJI Osmo gimbal and how the wireless signal would cut out, the batteries would die. Such a big difference. The voice is more full. You hear the clarity of the highs. You've got the lows. And just it's really overall just a solid sounding voice. So guys, thank you so much for checking out this tutorial about Adobe Premiere CC. Remember to check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash avidproductions479. Check me out on Instagram at instagram.com slash Cherokee underscore Turner. Also subscribe to these videos on Tutorial Grid. Just hit that subscribe button and check out my other channel, which has my vlog and all the other awesome projects that I've worked on at, uh, it's going to be Cherokee underscore Turner, uh, but you're just going to have to find it in the link in the description so please check that out give me a subscribe to all my channels um, and help support me in everything that I do and help us uh, support this channel so everyone thank you again for watching and I will see you guys later